Boy, do I have a book to show you. This is a bootleg Elvis. Uh, if you collect bootlegs, this is the ultimate book. Even if you don't collect bootlegs and just collect vinyl, this is the book to have. I mean, there's a lot of records that you think is, you know, on the up and up, and a lot of them are not. So let's look into this fantastic book that came out in 2013. It took them a few years to put this out. I remember that I kept waiting on it and waiting on it. Um, it wasn't cheap, and I know it was a limited edition, but I've looked everywhere in the book um, to see what the limit was. I think it was 2,000 something. If you know, put it down at the bottom. Uh, it came out in uh, 2013. I have a cover on the front, and if there's ever a book that you should have a cover on, this is the book. Uh, down on the bottom, it says the vinyl records from 1970 to today. Uh, Felix, I'm sorry, Felix, I can't say your last name. Ralph uh, Gilgan, Peter Van Bry, <laughs> Dick Decker, and Bruno Paz. Felix, I'm so sorry, buddy. Okay. Let's show you the back. It's a write up they have there. Maybe you can freeze that up and check it out. Now I have it on the stand here. I'm going to do my best so you can uh, so you can see it. The paper they use is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. There's a letter here from Felix to me, and he was very gratefully signed. He also signed it here. This is a part of uh, one of the albums. Uh, if you collect bootlegs, you certainly know which one it is. Here's the editor note. Uh, when this came out, like I said, uh, it took a few years. Uh, why? Because uh, more and more information was coming out and, and more information uh, was coming in. Show you a few pages of it. There's a lot of information, uh, good write-ups. Now we're going to get into uh, the records, but look at the, the beautiful color in the paper. I might have to put this down on the table. Now we're getting into the records. Everything's in uh, alphabetical order. They go for uh, 45s and into EPs. Okay, we're definitely going to have to go to the table. Okay, let's go down to the table. If you should try to buy it now, um, you're going to pay a lot of money for it. And should you get it? Yeah, <laughs> you really should get it. I mean, look at this sucker. 12 inch long play singles. Was his greatest shit. A lot of people said to me, "I wouldn't have in that my, I would not have that in my collection." I do have it in my collection, but believe it or not, I really do have it in like a a paper bag. So if somebody should be looking through my vinyl, they don't really see it. There were uh, several different covers for this, though. I'm in, in different colors. I have a few of them, but that's what's great about this book. I mean, if you didn't know that, the information is in here. 
And I love how they break down what they think is good about it and what they don't think is good about it. Uh, the sound, what they think about the cover and uh, the back of the cover. Um, they'll tell you if it's a bootleg of a bootleg of a bootleg. I mean, let me see, like right here, when this came out, the Elvis Fever. I'm sorry, yeah, the Elvis Fever. And they'll tell you when it came out the second time. And then they tell you over here where it came out the third time. And uh, a lot of times the sound of it would get worse and worse and worse. Sometimes it'd get better. And they mention that in here. Elvis is alive and well and singing in Las Vegas. See now here's his, uh, the greatest shit over here. See, different colors. And all the information is here. See, and there's another color here, and they only think it's darker. And here's the picture discs. I'm sorry, the uh, colored vinyl for it. See how many different ones there is for the one release? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. See different releases of it, how the cover changed. If any information you want to know uh, that's inside this book, hey, let me know. Put it down at the bottom. Email me. I know this has been out for a while, so why, why show a book that's been out from 2013? Because it's, mm, it's so good. Paul Lichter's uh, record. Which is strange. Uh, Presleyana has that in it as a, uh, a legal record, and then here they have it as a bootleg. Same thing with this one, the Million, million, million Dollar Quartet. There's a whole bunch of million, million dollar quartets. Look, I love the cover of this one. Okay. Look at that. My dog even likes it. keep you here that too long. These are interviews and uh, session talks, novelty and tribute bootlegged records, uh, far eastern uh, bootlegged records. This paper is nothing but quality. Now you get into stories. How it started, you know, the, the first uh, bootleg that came out. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Paul Downing did, did, did this one of the, uh, the Dorsey uh, single by Paul Downing. I had him signed it up here. My friend uh, George Rittenhouse, he uh, wrote about it, the High Gardner uh, Frank Sinatra tapes. Have him sign up here. It's so interesting to find out, you know, where they got tapes from and uh, what they had to do to get it. Uh, sometimes how much they had to spend for it. It's uh, so interesting. About uh, Sam Seeker, I had uh, Sam Seeker sign up at the top here. And uh, he, signed, he signed down here as Vic Corona as well.
And that is it, guys. That is an incredible book. If you can find it, I recommend it. Good hunting. Don't forget to take care of your family. Take care of yourselves. And don't forget the TCB for EAP.